It's Military Appreciation Night here at Bill Armstrong Stadium and Jerry Yeagley Field, the site of tonight's contest between the Indiana Hoosiers and their in-state foes, the Ball State Cardinals. The Hoosiers are back at home for the first time since the season's opening weekend in August and are coming off a 2-0 defeat on Friday to Notre Dame, moving to 3-1-1 on the year. I'm Scott Stewart alongside Brandon Farkas. We will be joined by our sideline reporter Carly Murata later in the half. But right now, Brandon, a look at the Hoosiers, and we start with the keeper, Sarah Stone. That's right, Scott. Sarah Stone, the redshirt senior from Evansville, Indiana, after getting five shutouts last season, already has four on the season, has been huge for the Hoosiers so far as that back line. And really the whole team has complete trust in her with she even got seven saves against Notre Dame on Friday. And the Ball State Cardinals enter today at 3-2-1 following a 1-0 defeat to Middle Tennessee State last weekend in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And for the Cards, their key player is in the midfield, their leading goal scorer, Gabby Veldman. Yeah, Gabby Veldman, the junior from South Bend. She's got just a playmaking ability all over her. She's got great pace and tenacity, leads the team um, with two goals on the season, or tied for two goals on the season after having four her sophomore season for the Cardinals. She's going to be huge in their play today. She found the back of the net against Jacksonville State and Wright State, but has not scored since the season's opening period. It is sunny and 64 degrees here in beautiful Bloomington, Indiana. Kickoff between the Hoosiers and the Cards coming up momentarily on BTN+. Plus. Cardinals keep it in play as Madison Oyer turns it towards the right. A flash shot oh. in off the top of the bar from Shea McNutt. Goal kick for the Hoosiers as Stone appeared to have not gotten a touch on it. And it looked as if Stone was comfortable enough seeing that one over the top of the goal. But it kind of fell at the last second and clipped the top of the crossbar as we get another look. You can see that effort always dipping and spinning towards the crossbar directly over the head of Sarah Stone. Hoosiers catch another break. Yeah. Emily Baston preparing to take the free kick. She will whip this ball into the far side of the box. Heitschel comes to collect. She gets a right fist to it. Still bouncing around towards the touchline and left to Kalen Flanagan to clear. But ball still not out of the Cardinals defensive third and the Hoosiers can keep on knocking. Yeah, right move for Alyssa Hindshow to come out, step out of the box there to, to bat that one away. So we get a good look at it. Hindshow making sure that Jesse Bajuvis got zero contact with the ball. He is a defensive minded. Gabby Veldman keeps it alive. Shot and turn. Sarah Stone still with work to do. Did she keep it out? No goal awarded. Still alive, and the Ball State Cardinals put it away eventually. Sarah Stone did brilliant work to get it away the first time, but the Cardinals find the back of the net, and they are the first team to break this evening's deadlock. A goal on the board with 17 and a half minutes to play in the second period. As we see, a shot comes in from Abby Fisher. And then have the Cardinals get it back like exactly. they just did. Effort in on Sarah Stone's goal. She has no problem catching that one. But the seconds tick down, and 1-1 will be the final score between the Ball State Cardinals and the Indiana Hoosiers. A riveting 110 minutes. Chelsea Swackhammer finding the goal for the Cardinals early in the second half. And Jesse Bajuvis providing life to the home side. A late equalizer pushing us into the overtime period. But of course, Brandon, neither team able to come up with the eventual winner, which is what we all came to see. Yeah, it's never fun ending in a draw. You know these players worked their tails off all game. Afterwards, a couple of players just had to rest, put their hands on their knees just to gather themselves. Great in-state matchup. Hope to see this become more of a routine in the future. And so the Indiana Hoosiers move out of non-conference play and into conference play. They will face the Fighting Illini of Illinois next Friday night. The Illini facing a trip to Bloomington, Indiana. So that will do it from Bloomington, Indiana, Jerry Yeagley Field. The Hoosiers and the Cardinals playing to a 1-1 draw for Brandon Farkas. I'm Scott Stewart. Thanks for tuning in to Indiana Women's Soccer on BTN+.